Minimally invasive lobectomy with systematic mediastinal lymph node evaluation is the current standard of care for lung cancer surgery. Current guidelines recommend that a minimum of 3N1 and 3N2 stations should be sampled or completely dissected. Variations in surgical quality are known to lead to differences in the long-term survival rates of patients after lung cancer surgery. However, identifying suitable outcome metrics to determine the impact of surgeon performance on patient survival rates can be challenging. Once identified, these metrics can be used to target improvements in the processes of care. A recent study by researchers reviewed non-small cell lung cancer surgery cases handled by 60 surgeons from 12 hospitals across three states in the U.S. The surgeons were ranked into three performance tiers based on an aggregate of their scores for each of four readily accessible outcome measures. The outcome measures included the rate of surgeries leaving behind cancer, known as margin positivity, failure to examine lymph nodes, failure to examine mediastinal lymph nodes, and the removal of tumors without following the anatomical boundaries of the lungs or wedge resections. Patients who were operated upon by surgeons in the highest performance tier had the best survival rates, while those operated upon by surgeons in the lowest performance tier had the worst survival rates. To bridge this gap, the study identified four corrective processes that enhanced surgeon performance. These were performing a preoperative positron emission tomography computer tomography scan, conducting a biopsy of mediastinal lymph nodes before surgery, using a lymph node collection kit, and employing minimally invasive surgical techniques, such as video assistance or robotic assistance during surgery. Targeting outlier surgeons for performance improvement and standardizing the use of corrective processes can help overcome disparities in surgical quality and patient outcomes after lung cancer surgery. This study highlights how the objective measurement and ranking of surgeon performance using readily available outcome measures can potentially improve the long-term survival rates of patients with non-small cell lung cancer.